before I show you guys the brakes. I'm going to show you what happens when I work on my truck. Yeah, it's a disaster. Just going to have to go ahead and clean this up first. wanted to mention that uh, these will require a minimum of a 17 inch wheel um, anything smaller and the caliper is gonna rub for sure these are my 17 by 9 RPF ones and they clear perfectly I mean there's no they're a little close but nothing to be worried about so anything above a 17 inch is gonna work perfectly um, might also depend on offset these are 17 by 9 plus 35 in the front and uh, yeah, just be wary of your wheels. You might need to run a spacer if your offset's kind of high. And uh, yeah. All right, so there it is with the wheels on. Uh, as you can see, got the big Brembo caliper here. And uh, I'll go ahead and put all the information, like part numbers, where I got them, prices for everything in the description so that you guys can check it out if you guys want. Uh, these are the Cadillac ATS calipers that I got on Amazon. Uh, I actually saw these from uh, another YouTuber. He actually put them on his WRX. Um, it was Blake's Garage. Uh, he did a pretty good write-up. So at the time, they were about 80 bucks. But when I bought them, they were 100 bucks a piece. So they were a little bit more expensive, but still work well. And the rotors here, these are actually Evo rotors, uh, Evo 9 rotors. They were modified to work with the stock hub here. As you can see, the hub actually bolts, bolts onto the rotor rather than uh, the rotor going onto the hub. So I'll show you guys the stock rotor so you can see the modifications that are needed. And uh, I'll try to see if I can get some measurements. But as you can see, this is the stock Toyota hub and this is a Evo 9 rotor, 12.6 inch that I also got from another YouTuber, uh, Caesar Media. He gave, he had the best prices for these. These are StopTech rotors, and they were the best price I could find. Even like generic uh, AutoZone rotors were more expensive. So I got those from him, and they worked perfectly. You can see the still braided lines and bolt right up to the back of the caliper, and they actually go straight into the Tacoma hard line. These are actually lines for a. Uh, Subaru WRX STI. Uh, I'm not sure what year, but I'll put partners in there. Those are also made by StopTech. I'm also using StopTech pads. Uh, I didn't go anything aggressive just because I wanted to make sure the system worked all together before I get any like aggressive race pads or anything like that. But for now, the street performance pads that uh, StopTech makes, they stop this truck really, really well. I don't know if you can see this, but that is the caliper bolted straight onto the stock rotor. I mean, stop a uh, spindle. There's actually no bracket needed. I had originally sent these out to a uh, machinist, actually a guy that I know in uh, New Jersey. He has a bunch of uh, mods done to his S render at uh, Tacoma has a 2JZ in it, bit brakes and all kinds of stuff, so I know he could get the job done. 
So basically, I came across these rotors on YouTube, and I just bought them because they were cheap. But it turns out that these actually don't need a bracket to bolt onto the spindle. But the spindle does need to be drilled out to accept the larger bolts that are that the calipers use. I believe it's a 14 by 1.5 by one and a half inch long bolt. It is also shimmed in a little bit. Uh, I'll put that in the description. And then I'll show you on the stock spindle what I mean when I say that it's shimmed. But I mean the holes line line up perfectly which was really crazy. I sent them out to my buddy Burke. He's out in New Jersey to his uh, shop and uh, he called me and he told me that these bolted right up. All that he had to do was uh, drill out the, the spindle which was really crazy. Uh, I did not expect that so that actually brought the, the cost down a little bit. I'm going to try to show you guys how uh, to shim out the caliper using this crusty old spindle, the stock caliper, and I'll show you the modifications that need to be done to the rotor. So basically you mount the caliper mount it on the inside of the, of the spindle uh, like that. So then for the Brembo's there's two different uh, shims or washers that I used. Um, one on the inside here against the, the caliper to space it out and make it centered with the, the rotor. So that was the larger one. I think it's like three mil or something like that. I'll put like again, I'll put that in the description. And then I put another washer on the other side so that the bolt wouldn't hit the, the rotors. Here's the stock Tacoma rotor. As you can see, the center bore of the rotor is really big. Uh, I'm not sure the exact measurement, but uh, I can't find my caliper, so I can't measure it. But the center bore of the of the rotors for the Evo is a lot smaller. So basically, this needs to be bored out to to accept the hub, and then these holes need to be drilled out and then threaded to accept the stock bolts on the from the Toyota hub. So it's not very hard. Any machine shop could uh, do this. All you gotta do is take them your hub, take them a stock rotor and say, I need to be able to mount this hub on this rotor and it should be able to do it no problem. So I really wanna thank those guys, uh, Lex Garage, C0 Media, Burke uh, out of New Jersey. He, uh, he was the one that really made it possible to get this mounted up. He had all the, all the knowledge, and he was the one that told me that it didn't need a. I didn't actually need a bracket, which is huge because for most any big break upgrade, you're gonna need a bracket. Um, thanks to C Zero Media for the the rotors, he helped keep the price down. Uh, he shipped the. He was actually out of the country, and then uh, he shipped my my uh, rotors and they got them he actually shipped them to the machinist in new jersey so i didn't have to ship them myself and then uh yeah thanks to like he actually was a, he used those uh brake lines and uh he's the one that used the calipers I, I know he's not the first one to do it but he's the one to put the information out there and that's how i saw it so without the information i wouldn't be able to find these parts on my own uh, i had to do a little bit of research like the size of the fittings on the brake lines and stuff like that. Luckily, they match the Toyota ones from the Subaru ones, and it all worked out. And uh, really, it's not too much custom modifications, but you do need to modify the rotor and modify the spindle. So, at the end of the day, it's not a huge deal, and uh, the stopping power is ridiculous. It's a million times better than stock, and um, I would do this over and over again if I had to. If I ever get another truck, I'm definitely doing this. And uh, so I just did this because I wanted to work on my suspension and stuff before I turbo the truck again. I turboed it before I had the stock brakes and it would just, let's just say it sucked. But anyway, um, there's a, I have a lot of plans for the truck going to be 
working on the rear suspension. Uh, it's on leaf springs right now. I want to do a custom uh, four link and put QA1 coilovers to match the front. But I'm not sure if I want to do that first or turbo it again. So I do have some bushings and things that I'm going to be doing for the front. Uh, I'm going to be changing my stock uh, tie rods to Heim. I'm going to switch them out to use Heim joints and I'm going to change the location of them. The bump steer on this truck is pretty bad because of the angle that the arms are at. So the tie rod sits on top of the steering knuckle and so uh, with the Heim joints I'm going to be able to bring it down to the bottom and just uh, correct some of that geometry. But yeah, this is uh, just the beginning of, of the mods that I'm going to be doing to this truck. I want to do a lot more and I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys check out all my other videos and share them if you guys can. Thanks a lot. So I didn't get too many in progress shots um, videos, but I did get some pictures. So I'll be inserting some of those pictures just so you can see some of the progress while I was doing it. Uh, I didn't record because it's kind of a learning process and it didn't feel like recording so but as you can see the brakes are on there and i'm loving them thanks for watching guys